in this video I'm going to show you how you can make an animated GIF or GIF out of a video and if you've ever been on the internet and saw animated images then that's what I'm talking about and if you look on your screen this is an example of what I did earlier today and I put the instructions on my website which I'll refer to that in just a moment but as you can see here this is a loop where you see the squirrel pick up a rock the bunny's trying to insinuate don't kill the butterfly the squirrel kills the butterfly and then he turns around and brags about it to his friends and that is referred to as an animated gif or an animated gif but for the sake of this video I'm going to refer to it as an animated gif file that way I won't keep saying both words now the program I'll be using to convert a video to an animated gif is a program called gif curry now again if you call it gif you might want to call it gif curry but gif curry is an open source video editor with a uh, for GIF makers and it's not going to include any watermark since it's an open source software. Now GIF Curry allows you to import video, trim, crop, add text, pick a font, set the size, and enable dithering like if the image is kind of grayed out it will try to fix the imaging, import subtitles and save your creations as either a GIF or a video format. For more information on GIF Curry, go to their GitHub website. So if you try to install it by the methods that I show you, you might want to go to their website right here and scroll down and look at make sure you have all the prerequisites on your on your system. So you can go through here and read more about what it is, uh, the font styles that they have, and how to get a copy. And if you use Linux or other operating systems, use a Mac and more information on here it's got to run GIF Curry you need these things right here this is kind of a prerequisite in order to install it now from there I do have a link to the Git GIF Curry releases and the most current release is 6.0.1.0 you can download it as an app image or you can download the tarball and uncompress it and go into a folder the BIN folder and run it straight from a binary file so either way I do have the instructions for both of these on my website so I have three different methods you can go to the release site or you can go to the others and download the app image and once you do download the app image you can locate the app image right click on it choose properties and then within properties make sure it says allow executing the file or program and I'll show you about how to do that I keep my app in, app images in a folder called app images now GIF Curry is here you right click on it go to properties go to permissions make sure you have allow executing the file as a program and when you double click the file it takes a moment and it will start to load and then you click on the open button and open up a video that's one way of doing it another way is remember I showed you that tarball which was here if you right click on that you can choose extract here or you can extract it to another location but I chose extract here and it extracted the contents in it which it created that folder and here's the actual program itself you go to the BIN there's the command line instruction so if I want to run it by command line I could say open in terminal execute that command there and run it as a command but I like to use the the GUI the graphical user interface so all I have to simply do is just double click that file and it will run there as well so I'm gonna go ahead and close this and I'll leave this open and I'll minimize it and we'll show you how to use it in just a moment now once you've got it installed by the app image if it didn't load it into the the menu I do have the instructions here for opening up your main menu command this is really for Ubuntu Mate or Ubuntu users to put it in the menu. For a second step is to showing you the tarball, how to extract it, how to go into the bin folder, double click it. Now if you're a Snapcraft uh, user and like to install snaps on your system, if you're in Linux, you can click this, choose install, and if you don't have it set up for your operating system, you can come down here and choose what operating system you have to a setup for snaps and click the installation and follow those steps. So I've showed you three ways that you can install it on your system now once that you've got it installed you can execute the program which you can see here and that's what it looks like to run the program and I'm gonna go through there and show the examples on my web page because I do label the parts of it and I have it labeled on the web page and so when I open it I won't have to go through and explain everything so when you click the open button it will take you to a dialog box to allow you to locate 
uh, video file on your system and then hit open it will open the video file on your system and then out to the si side over here you have one two three four five buttons that you can click on when you click on one of these buttons it will drop down and giving you additional options now when you look load it here this is like the video original video timeline and this is where you can crop it so it shows you the beginning starting point here the ending point here so that way when you hit the I've got it paused when I unpause it it will play and it will just play that section there which you're cropping out it will avoid the gray areas so as you can see here I'm going to show though go through here and explain the buttons on the site so if you need help with this you can refer back to my website rather than rewatching the video so when you click on the size button you've got one two three options to choose from the first one here is to change the width. By default it's set to 500 pixels. Now if you notice while I go, when I double clicked on this file here and ran it, as you can see here that 500 at the bottom is the default pixel size. So it's 500 pixels and it will keep the resolution what you have so it won't be distorted. So as you can see here 500 and to keep it normal it made 281 pixels up but it doesn't give you that option there because it don't want you to distort the image so that's the 500 pixels you can increase the pixel size you can change that to whatever and down here at the bottom I do have one that is 600 pixels 600 pixels by 333 so I do have other examples on the website to show you can change the the picture size so you don't have to keep the default 500 but just keep in mind as you increase the pixel size you're increasing the size of the animated image which also increases the file size here is the frames per second so I like to try to keep it whatever the video is so that it doesn't create any conflict so you can right click the video and choose the properties or bring up some way of looking at your uh, video properties and try to keep it at the frames per second to whatever your video is how many colors 256 is the default if your video has more than that I would recommend sticking with the 256 because when you're making an animated GIF file it's not going to notice much difference from a extremely high resolution like 4k or above because that's just going to make the animated GIF file much much larger so I would stick with a 256 so those are with the size the next button on the left is with your crop if you don't want everything in the video and again if you crop out things it will make the file size much smaller so if you just want to focus on the characters and the nut that's heading to him then you can crop off this is the left side crop so you hit the plus and it starts cropping more from the left the same things over here you hit the plus and it crops more you hit the minus it takes away from the crop this is the left this is the right that's the top and that's the pot the bottom so the default values for all of those are zeros and you can hit the plus and minus to move smo slowly or you can actually if you've been using it a while and know your crop values you can just simply quickly type it in there so that's the crop feature the next button is your text button. You can put subscripts. You can put things like if you wanted to uh, crop this out, the video part, and put like watch out where the nuts head to them. You can click the text button, and you can add existing text, which you can hit open if you've ever saved text before. And then when you got your text, you can save it. So if you're going to work on this later, you can open it up and open the file that you previously saved this allows you to and I've got these labeled A B C A B C D E F G H I J K and I got each what each one of them represents up here as a little guide so for a what this is is this moves the text to the left and right so if I wanted it more in the center I could hit the little plus and it would move to the right if I meant too much I could go hit this and it moves it back to the the this moves it up and down this moves it left that moves it right this moves it up that moves it down so B is the moving up and down the C is the starting time the start time so I wanted it to start immediately uh, when this particular clip starts so I leave that at zero and then I wanted it at the end of it and that's just an example you can put whatever values matches your start time and your end time so that way it doesn't stay on the video the whole time it just stays on there just while the nuts heading to them and then it disappears this is where you can actually rotate you can make it the text rotate one way or the other your F is your outline thickness as you can see here watch out with the exclamation point has a black outline you can make it thinner by hitting negative or you can make it thicker by hitting the positive so that gives you a thicker or thinner outline 
your G is your outline color so that way the thickness of it is controlled by here the actual color you can click here and it'll come up with a little color palette and you choose whatever color that you want the outline colors to be click here to change the actual text color then in the I is where you write what text you want to display on the video or the animated GIF here's where you choose your font and here's where you choose the font size so you can make it smaller or you can make it larger and then again you can save or you can ex open existing text the next one before I go into file and save as you need to work on the video so this is points goes from text down here at the bottom here's your original file timeline here's where you crop it so as you can see here the original files this long we only want to make an animated GIF file from this thick or this size you don't want to animate a GIF to be a very long file because people sit there and watch uh, for a long period of time they lose interest and plus if they're downloading it will take a long time to download a larger file size so you would try to keep them very small so as you can see here I kept it I put my starting time and my ending time and that showed you the start time for the animated GIF and the end time and I do have this little thing here just scrolling in the middle but you can see here because actually this bar becomes this here it's kind of like amplified so this is your original timeline but once you've got the start time and the end time this timeline bar becomes this so that way as you're scrolling through here it you'll see it moving more across here at the bottom so it's almost like a magnifying glass here I showed you once you've picked the ending points and starting the starting points and ending points you're now ready to click on the file when you click the file it will come up with a save as box here's where you give it a name and if you wanted to choose an animated GIF you can choose that extension here or you can choose to make it as a video since it was originally a video I chose to make an animated GIF file once that you do if it's a large file size it will prompt you for a yes or no dialog box it says create a GIF with that long of a duration you choose yes and if you choose no it gives you a chance to go back and shorten it because it kind of lets you know it's going to be a large file size if you do want it that large you click yes and don't close anything out it's not going to say wait it's going to just be doing something in the background and when it finishes it will automatically pop up and display it with your image viewer uh, on your system so don't close anything out until you see the animated image pop up on the screen once that you finish with that it does have another button over here which is your upload button with your upload button you can either install it or upload it to Giphy if that's how you pronounce it and IMGUR and I do have links to both of these to where you can actually see people that uploads their animated GIF files here's a lot of animated GIF files that people uh, upload it to and here's another website which it loads faster because you have to click on theirs in order for it to make it animated at the time of making this video it's at version 6.0.1.0 and you click that button here to bring up this about gift curry and then as you can see here I have a little bit of extra information so let's actually go and load and create one very quickly so you go into your videos folder I'm gonna choose the big buck bunny again and it automatically starts by playing I'm gonna pause it real quickly and I'm gonna choose a different starting time and I'm going to choose a different ending time. Now remember, it's starting at like 190 seconds in, or the, the number value. This is your timeline. I don't want these numbers to be too far apart because that's going to make a very long animated GIF. As you can see here, it's 190. That's 190. And so that's going to be extremely short. So let's increase it a little bit. That's like six seconds. We'll increase it to about there. Well, that's, that, that'll be okay. So now we want to save this. So we'll go to File we'll go to our I want to go to pictures I'm gonna to go to GIF curry and I got a folder called animated and this is the animated clip and I'm just gonna call this one clip 2 since I already created one for the website I hit the save button it says create a GIF with that longer duration hit yes and I'm gonna wait till it pops up I'm not gonna close anything down because it's not saying uh, it doesn't have a bar progression bar or anything and this is where a lot of people probably thinks it's not working and they'll go complain it's not working they just have to give it time to complete the process and since it's a little bit longer than normal animated GIF file it takes a little while so you just have to wait give it have some patience 
and then when it's the process is finished it will pop up on your screen and there it is so now we can I'll minimize this close this out and there is the big buck bunny animated clip number two so it's I pretty well almost clicked at the same part it's, I do have a little bit more afterwards so I should have chose a little bit further out in the video so I do have the first animated clip the second animated clip as you can see here both of them are animated and I about almost chose them in the same spot I didn't choose much different than in there but they both work so if you have video files that you would like to convert into an animated GIF file uh, you can use GIF Curry like I said you there's three different options and if it's not working on your system please be patient if after a waiting in a while if it still doesn't work go to that github website make sure you do have the prerequisites on your system the files needed in order for it to run now this is not just for linux as you remember on there if you go to the releases it says you can install this on mac and you can also install this they say that it's not been tested or anyone's not they haven't tested it but there's instructions for installing it on windows as well so if you're looking for something to make animated gifs then give gif curry or jif curry a try hopefully this video has been helpful to you and have a great day